I really am starting to hate my microphone. I tried doing some commentary on this, but the microphone kept on acting up. Making all sorts of weird noises whenever I talk. It's, it's like, it's like, maybe for the center, I think. I'm not sure. So either way, if you remember in the past few chapters, we saw some huge armed guys. Mostly I'm only about to be screwed. We never actually really fought them, so to say. But in here, we're actually fighting them mano to mano. If you took that RPG or grenade launcher, the RPG being more preferable, then you're good for this gunfight. In fact, they are probably the easiest part of this gunfight. Which isn't to say this is a challenging gunfight. At least if you do my strategy. You want to have at least two of them and, a, and two grenades. Then you're going to want to aim at either one of them. And then throw a grenade after the second one. Now you cannot get them both one explosion. At least I can't. I don't really think they get close together. At least they cooperated for this fight. And then you're gonna wanna jump over to the ledge near me. Right over there. You should have like some RPG ammo left, and that'll help you immensely with this fight. Along with your pistol, which will help if they get too close. Like that guy there. Now there are two over shotgun guys, and you want to at least take out them with the RPG. Since you probably don't have anything else. You don't have to worry about the snipers. There is one in an alcove behind me, but he's not really a bother. F and then you're going to want to take out the, these guys with the RPG. Since you're not really going to need it for the next part of this chapter. You actually will get ammo later for an RPG. So you'll be good. If you want, you can try using the God 19 the Gallon Gun. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want, you can use it. What I don't recommend using is using the Gallon Gun to take out the heavies. I did that my first time through because I did not know the other RPGs, and it was not really that great a strategy. Especially since the armor shotgun guys would always sneak up behind me and then. Well, it's kind of like the ending of Scarface. You're all like where you're, where Tony Montana's all. You can you can't take me down. Then he got taken down. Yeah. Awesome movie. There was also another RPG there if you need it. Since there's only one instead of two, I would not recommend going up there. Yeah, I probably should have warned you about them. Warned me? Wait, you knew about these things? When were you planning on telling me? Just lay low and stay out of their way. <laughs> They're yetis on steroids. These are not as bad as the demons. Well, actually, they're worse than the demons in Uncharted. At least they fit in a bit better with the story, in my opinion. And they actually are intelligent. The demons in Uncharted, if you all are wondering, it are the Spaniards and Germans, well, the descendants, according to the wiki. They're, um, they're much easier to deal with because they take about as much damage as the regular enemies in the game. But the demons in Uncharted, you actually cannot fight hand to hand. Like, two hits on crushing will actually kill you. But if you, like, basically tried hand-to-hand -hand combat them, you would always, and I mean always, miss. It's basically a way of suicide. As for the Yetis in this game, well, we haven't really fought them since Mountaineering, so I can't really say that much yet. If we do fight them. Finally. Tower. I'm tired of your excuses. Look, give me some more time. That's all I'm asking. 
I have given you enough time. I have brought you the dagger. Now, where is the gate to Shambhala? Look, Zoran, we know... I have not come this far to be thwarted by your incompetence. We know the answer is somewhere in this room. We just have to find it. Meanwhile, Drake remains just one step behind you. I clearly hired the wrong man for the job. What an asshole. I'll, uh, I'll try to smooth things over with him. Just stay here. See what you can work out. That belongs to me. Nate? Get out of here. Give me the dagger. They'll be here any Chloe, minute. Chloe, don't make me take it from you. How am I supposed to explain where it's gone? Well, you'll think of something. You always do. Just... Just do one thing for me. Take that son of a bitch down. A good puzzle in this, in this game. Alright, so here starts a another chap another puzzle in this game. Now it really is enjoyable or decent as the one as the ones in the previous chapters, nor the ones in the previous game. Save for that one statue puzzle in the original game. Yeah, one thing I've gotten complaints about in my original walkthrough for the game, Uncharted One, Drake's Fortune was people were too retarded to figure out how to solve the puzzles even though I showed how to solve it in the damn video. I really don't understand how people can be that retarded. I know I'm just ranting, but it's really just something worth ranting about. I mean, no, how can you be that stupid? In my opinion, the puzzles in this franchise need work. I, I agree it's difficult, but the main thing people are complaining about is that even with the video, they still can't fucking solve it. Which means you're really, they're really just retarded. Rant time over, um... You're gonna... I think that using a journal to help solve them is pretty clever and pretty cool. As well as the fact that the journal itself is not just for puzzle solving, but also for a bit of entertainment. But really, I think that for a chart of reading, it could at least work out the puzzles. Make it a bit more user-friendly. It's not always clear what you're supposed to do, at least in this game. So you're just going to want to be moving the stuff around to where I am. It corresponds to stuff in the journal, which again is worth reading in, the spare, in your spare time. There's about one more puzzle in the game, in the next chapter, and that'll be about it for the puzzles in this game. I've been just ranting, I can't really say much on this puzzle, except that, well, this isn't the end of the puzzle. That may be the last piece to this puzzle. Alright, that should do it. Oh, shit. More? Yes, Nate, more. Okay, I've seen these symbols before. So right here, you're just going to want to move the little tumbler things to correspond with the symbols on that. They correspond with the symbols in the... Like the like the things you placed before, and with the symbols in in the journal. I'm doing these in this in uh, kind of a random order, I guess. So yeah, if you can't figure out this puzzle, shut up and do not comment on this video. I swear. If there's any franchise that, franchises that I think make great puzzles, it's Ratchet and Clank: A Crack in Time. And God of War, especially the puzzle, the last puzzle, God of War 3, and Legend of Zelda. Honestly, these the ones in Uncharted have a really, really great concept, especially in the original, since you were on the search of Drake's, well, Francis Drake's treasure, and you're using his journal to find it. 
I think that was really great. It worked a bit better in the game, like, if into the storyline, but here it's still good. Just not as storyline worthy, I, I guess. And my joystick was acting up a bit in this puzzle. And I had to um, make sure of things here. And my joystick would just stop fiddling. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my, my PS3 joystick. It's been like that since um, too late 2008, I think. At first I thought it was due to God of War, but... When I really noticed it, but I don't think it is. I need a DualShock 3, honestly.